On the spot, at the spot. The spot, Soto. With the big homie Nick, we at the spot. Soto! We at the spot, Soto. Spot, Soto. On the spot, at the spot, Soto, Seattle. Man, pull out your blunt, grab your drink, get your notepad. Cause it's a lot of it's game. A lot of Hey, we back here on the spot, at the spot, man. I ain't even going to call this after dark, man. I'm just going to call this a special review, man. Go <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe at the spot. Soto, man, you know what I mean? So, man, we sitting here, man, and as players do, man, as we sitting back, man, chopping this shit, man, I'm going to just let everybody introduce theyself, man, starting from the left, man. Yeah. Go ahead. The one and only, you can't clone me. Pimp Silky, the one your mama warned you about. And you pretty much know who I am, cake ass nigga. Sitting between these two niggas even got me feeling real pimpish, cake ass nigga. <laughs> Fucking and, bitch. <laughs> and good old Saint Nick, man. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know nothing what these niggas is talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, nigga. <laughs> that nigga know, nigga. Don't you buy into that oh, bullshit. Man, shit. This nigga definitely know. That's why he got a nigga sitting here with it. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Like a motherfucker, we will not incriminate. Man, hey man, special shout out, man. You know what I mean? I made man, I went ahead and got that dick food. So if I catch one of you youngsters around here, man, you know what I'm talking about, man. And my third Bitch, leg is I jumping. Kill you. <laughs> Bitch, I kill you. Man, yeah, you I brought my nigga some of that dick food down like a motherfucker. He he said, man, I just got one one request, Mac, man. Bring me some dick food. And I put him on it, man. You know, when when you are privileged. To link with real niggas, man, you got to make sure that you do your part in keeping it real, my nigga, because one thing I don't believe in, ain't no such thing as a nigga used to be real, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Man, ain't no used that. to be real, nigga. You either that, is or you ain't, bitch ass nigga. Ain't no used to be real. You was just a fake ass nigga. Pretend. You, you got some niggas who pretend good as fuck, though. I ain't gonna even lie. You got some good, real pretending ass niggas out here, my in nigga. In that order. Hey, hey, so you, you think that nigga, you think that nigga Kanye Goon, my nigga, you think that nigga really a savage or what? <laughs> what? Kanye's Goon, my nigga, yeah, ran see, up on yeah, DL, see, man. Uh, Theopolis, London, nigga, you cannot get beat up by a nigga named Theopolis, London. Kanye the, got a Goon? No, nah, the nigga ran up on, 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 on DL Hughley at the restaurant, followed the nigga all into the restroom while a nigga in that hole in his dick, my nigga. How do you talk to, I don't even feel comfortable you, and I've been to the penitentiary five times. This ain't no bragging. This is public record, my nigga. This ain't no glorifying or glamorizing like, oh, that nigga so real. Nigga, I'm a five-time loser. The key word is loser, bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> and not, uh, let me clear the air on this. D.L. Ugly is from Compton. Really from Compton. Yeah. What, what and thought? really a what power of blood, for what sure. That ain't no square. That nigga D.O. Hewley will fuck Kanye West up. No, Steve Harvey said that, but I didn't know he was from Compton. Yeah, I, never from knew Compton. Where, I never knew where D.O. Hewley was from. Yeah, Man. I know, I, when, when he used to be on Def Jam, I, I knew he was a real nigga just because of his his aura and when he hit the stage, but I did not know he was from man. Compton, man. Shout out to D.L. Hewley for being from Compton, nigga. Yeah, That's hey, what's up. Hey, look. The I tell you, this. you are, nigga, you were finna, that nigga was finna fuck you up in that restroom. D. Lil Huey can call some real homies up, oh, and mama. Kanye West fuck around, be back living in the Midwest, fucking yeah, with that man. man. That, that was, that's really some, uh, you know, and you know what, what the worst part about it is, man, that I never, ever, ever allow myself a point to get to what a lot of niggas get to, by nigga. The problem is, when 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 you achieve a certain level of success and fame and power and status and all this shit here and you no longer want motherfuckers around you that remind you of who you was or who you truly are yes man a nigga want yes man around. yeah you want a nigga that's going to suck your dick around you all the time instead of a nigga that's going to tell you you fucking up Man, that nigga boy. And then sometimes it could be your own partners that that feel like, well, since you didn't reach that level, I better not say that because, you know, I'm you living a good life. Or, or yeah. Whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Fake my nigga niggas. boy. Yeah, because if a nigga kick you to the side, because if this is my nigga, 
and I know you, and I know you got my best interest at heart, my nigga. How could I ever be mad at anything you tell me about if you see me doing some shit and you feel like I'm fucking up? Well, this is the key, though, to this fucking shit. Hey, is that nigga Pete Davidson slinging dick, my nigga? They say, they say that nigga, they say that nigga shit is a baby smack water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. The last thing they want to see is a nigga named Smack Water blow up in this motherfucking industry, nigga. You nigga gonna be mad at me. First of all, first of all, first of fucking all. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is a fucking tramp Rat. clown. Rat. That ain't no fucking, like, I, I respect her grind. I respect her grind. I respect her grind. Respect her all her hustle. Like I could I commend her on getting yeah, people yeah. out of but that ain't no motherfucking hell of a catch. Nah, but you know what it is though, uh Silky? The thing about it is, and the honest to God true, cause when I put up the post that I put up and on my on my biggest page, somebody reported it and they took it down where I said she was a hoe and they were like, what well, Every nigga she fucked with was her boyfriend. That's the, the niggas you know about funky bitch. Because a funky bitch is going to always come to another funky's bitch rescue when they got the exhibit. But what you got to realize, if she's a hoe or not, they made their fortune off of hoe activity and hoe energy. Well, the funny part to it is niggas forget the bitch caught a case for being in Paris Hilton's motherfucking closet. Hmm. So, man, you can go, man, look it motherfuckers up. Motherfuckers forget about, motherfuckers forget hold up, about. Bro, hold on, but what you mean, Ben? She used to work for Paris Hilton. I know that, but being in her closet. Uh, some of her for... items came up missing. Oh, the bitch. After $500. Oh, that's how she ended up working for Brandy, that, huh? Off of $500, that's grand larceny. That's how she ended up working for Brandy. Yeah, what you going to say, Silky? Because I didn't, I didn't, yeah. So, her daddy was the lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. she was born... You know, around the shit, but the mama wouldn't fuck with Bruce Jenner. That well run dry because them ain't his kids. Once you grown, you grown. She a socialite. She out on the scene well, in Hollywood. Had two from her. Right. Yeah. She he out on the she out on the scene moving around. He her, out on the scene taking dick. Her BFF is Paris Hilton at the time. Yeah. Ray J get to her. She skyrocketed from that. Yeah, yeah. She, she ate skyrocketed. That dick looking at the camera. Nigga. She was married to Damon, the producer dude. From a yeah, rock, yeah. From the, a, to who she say was Whoop Rough Riders. Yeah, Did she, she was. Say the nigga was beating Damon on Thomas some shit or, or trying to hold a hostage. I don't or know. He he. So that shit happened, and then she just you know she she her finesse game worked. It wasn't her finesse. Uh, excuse me, no, it wasn't her finesse game. It was Chris finesse game. Uh, Chris is the toughest That's pimp. a cold pimp. Yeah, she's yeah. the toughest oh, pimp. Oh, she the realest walking, pimp. My oh, yeah. my mama, she the realest pimp. The well, whole Kanye, fucking if family. Y'all, if y'all go get your daughter, them nigga, I feel for them. Nigga. If, if Chris get a hold to him, nigga, Chris go make sure they walk that motherfucking Hollywood track, nigga. Hey, she's such a pimp. She tough. She turned that nigga, hey, told that nigga to go get some goddamn money. Yeah. And that nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Man got titties and all kind of shit. Yeah, they go, hey, that's how much I put it on up. That's how much of a hoe they is. They turned that nigga to a hoe, nigga. Y'all know we finna lose all our Instagrams and all that shit when this shit air. <laughs> first of all, we are not gay bashing. We just speaking facts, facts of what's going on. Facts, and, nigga. And I don't give a goddamn like if you if you like dick up the backside, nigga. That's your business, my nigga. I don't give a goddamn. You just a tough nigga, though, nigga. You're a tough nigga. He's you a six take... three motherfucker too. Yeah. Hey, more bitches World for class us. World class Olympian. More bitches yeah. for us. So and and and, and I'm a, I'm gonna shine a light on this. Kim Kardashian. I'm I'm telling y'all right now. She's about to be a lawyer. Yeah. She's gonna free. You think she t- is she actually taking the yeah. point? Yeah, hell yeah. I know. I know they they trying to say that she's a justice warrior and all that shit. That to uh, free niggas that's un- unjustly and wrongfully uh, locked up and shit. But if she is she, that's 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 my right because she might uh have to work her own motherfucking murder case because uh, Kanye going to be OJ number two. Y'all keep fu- It's like y'all really trying to draw that nigga crazy, my nigga. Y- y'all trying to push that nigga to the end because don't know, don't, America don't lo- n- love nothing like a tragic Hollywood story, nigga. America love a tragic Hollywood but story. But it's the cold part. If that nigga die, who end up with the money? His estate, his kids? His kids. Yeah. And, and the her. crazy part, right? This No? They, majority. Get, they wasn't married 10 years. In California, you got to be married 10 years for your, for her to get alimony forever. But look, look, look. Not even 10 years. But you know it only takes seven to become common. 
in California. Common law? In Texas, it used to be like six months. I don't know if that's the no, six no, no, months. No, 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 in Texas, no, 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 it was no. six months. She not getting six, shit. Let me, this, unfortunately, I happen to know this shit. Square. You ever get fucked up? Somebody told me it was six months. It, it's six months if the person uh, received mail at that That's location. what, hey, I just brought, if you, hey, if you ever get fucked up, two states you want to go to, 30 days in New Orleans, 30 days, you get you some mail mailed to you. Texas, two months. Two months. Two months. I heard it was six months, and if they get mailed out in, in any part of that six months, y'all married like a motherfucker. So, California hey, is two motherfucking weeks. Hey, hey, if you if see- If they got mailed yep. in, you got to go to court to evict they motherfucking evict ass. ass up out of there. So if you, have, if you see me walking around Texas, I'm over there slinging dick. <laughs> it didn't went all bad. I'm about to move in with your baby mama. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to be over there pushing your kid, kicking your kids fucking fort and all that. Eating Nigga, all you that. ain't mind <laughs> Nigga, fuck your fort, nigga. <laughs> hey, look, so, and then Kim, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they divorce thing. Kim don't want no money. She want her mother, she want her freedom. And he, and he just want to see his kids. But she being petty like that. But I like me, it's no way I would have. But you know what, though, uh, Silky? What a motherfucker say and what a motherfucker do behind closed, what a motherfucker say to the public and what a motherfucker say behind closed doors is two different things. Yeah. Like, I just want this, I just want this, but with them dog clothes, bitch, I kill you, fucking bitch. Well, you, you know, know the, the so, fucked up part today, even though, man, I got love for DL. Man, shut the fuck up. Mind your business, my nigga. Why are you even speaking on that? Nigga? Who cares? Do you well, care if that nigga tells his bitch Kim Kardashian? Now, let nah, me see. I don't care, but then, you know. Kanye is a public figure. Kim is a public figure. DL is a comedian. So it, it's all. It's, it, people it, go always. That's the world we live in. People go always have something to say. Like one of my partners, he played in the NFL and his girl was on that show Wags. And one of my little bitches was like, he needs to marry her. I'm like, bitch, mind your business and find somebody to marry you. Yeah. Trout mouth bitch. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. You worried about if he go marry her. What are you go? What is you go benefit from that? Yeah. By getting married, but, you getting married. Like it's motherfuckers that watch you, watch me, our daily movement. I wonder what is he doing. You never know, man. It be a motherfucker right next to you that's infatuated and obsessed with you. Literally. Yeah, I, I did. Nigga, I shook that nigga, man. You know, I don't, 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 I don't have a problem with with DL. You know, saying shit. I don't have a problem with anybody. Motherfucker say shit about me. But this, this, this is the thing. This, is, I don't got no problem with a motherfucker I, voicing their opinion. I, I'm not saying it's fact, but at the same time, DL was doing it in a joking, joking of way. Yeah, and, nigga, and he's a comedian, what, what? so. How the fuck do you send a nigga with with first off you that nigga didn't nigga. send he didn't yeah, they, they they say he didn't act he didn't good. send he that nigga that nigga just did yeah, something yeah, Kanye like yeah. and I'm gonna be real with you if we if we on this level because I've been broke and showed up at niggas doors like my nigga man this how you feeling huh you know <laughs> yeah. so you got all that money. Man, come on, man. You, hey, imagine if that nigga Rick James was alive. Nigga, I see Rick James nigga showing up to a nigga door, ringing him in the door, nigga telling a nigga to get out. Rick James was a monkey nigga, though. Come on, man. Rick James was a different type of animal. Come on, nigga, man. Right? Old crazy buffalo nigga. That nigga, come that old crazy. Fuck yo, couch. He from Buffalo, bitch. New York? Yeah. God Buffalo. damn. Yeah. Oh, Bob, that nigga from the hood. Uh, nigga. Yeah, nigga, that Grizel, the nigga. Shout out to uh, Big uh, Benny the Butcher, man, Conway, West and uh, Guns, yeah, West Side man, Gun, nigga. Brother, they, man. Buffalo shit, nigga. Big Buffalo shit, yeah, They nigga. been out there, nigga. Yeah, 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 big. Black Mafia. Yeah, them ghetto man, niggas. Man, yeah. Yeah, Buffalo, a ghetto nigga city, nigga. That is big real. Rick John, Rick James, bitch. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah. Say, so yeah. nigga, it only got to come with a nigga that can win. You know what I mean? Put glitter on, man, and some high heels. <laughs> yeah, you got <laughs> yeah, and still pimp, and still pimp slap the shit out of a bitch and check the shit out of a cake ass nigga. Man. Special type of nigga, boy. Come on, special man. type of nigga, boy. Rick wasn't to be fucked with, nigga. Man, what did he go to prison for? He stuck the crack pipe in the bitch pussy. Nah, he was. They the bitch was. They say he was. They was. She, they was holding him and his his bitch was holding the whole hostage and burning the hole with the crack pipe and making her smoke crack. Ain't yeah. that a bitch? Yeah. 
making a smoke crack. They she say they had a, a, a like handcuffed to the bed or tied up or some shit. That nigga went to San Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was crazy. <laughs> what? He went to the penitentiary twice. Out here in California, he went to California. He went to the penitentiary twice, man. Rick was that a nigga motherfucker, man. That nigga walked the yard, man. Yeah, man. Oh, my Rick mama, was a man. bad nigga, man. Rick was a bad. That nigga. So you just boy. seen? Oh, I just seen the day somebody said, oh. One of them niggas in the in the penitentiary had R. Kelly get on I the phone. I see that, man. Man, that wasn't no bar. motherfucking R. Kelly. Nigga, that was R. Kelly, nigga. What? Who? A nigga First of all, the nigga who the, the, listen, the nigga who got the the nigga on the phone is in the PC. You lying? I didn't. What did I that make R. Kelly sense? not walking on main line. Suge Knight not walking on main line. I, well, so I, it makes sense. The the whole, whole, I didn't read the whole article. I just read the headline. R. Kelly sense. is in jail for a sex crime. Yeah. He's not walking on he main on line. Star, he could be. He could he be. He PC'd anyway. For, yeah. For, right. He was in P. Yeah. For the star status. But I'm saying so. Whoever that was next to him, nigga, what you in? What you? Where, why are you where R. Kelly is? Look, look, but he let's keep a, let's a, keep it a, real a, now. A or hey, 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 this is why we on the spot at the spot now. Let's keep it real, nigga, because it's a lot of sensitivity yards, nigga, in California, my nigga. I, shit, taking off nigga, on niggas yard. on the main line. Yeah, they they trying to mix them in. Be, they trying to mix them together. On, so you know, that's why I said, nigga, it's, it's niggas that's man. You know, niggas is telling nigga and then turning around and still being gangsters. Ain't that a bitch? Man, I don't. It's a whole bunch of Ain't crazy that a bitch? shit going on right now, my nigga. I don't. Just cause a nigga say hey, gangster man, I don't I don't know my nigga. I re- you you know I didn't took cases for niggas twice my nigga. So I don't I don't you know I don't condone it no. And a nigga like nigga shit nigga. Hey man, if this is something that you indulge then in, my nigga and you made yourself a part of my nigga, you know what come along with that shit, good or bad, be it you or the next nigga nigga. You know laws pull us over nigga, and I know it's it's dope in this motherfucking. I'm rocking. I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is to it. Nah, if a nigga just smack, nigga, yeah, come on, and nigga don't tell me nothing. God damn, my nigga, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna be like, damn, bitch ass nigga. But I probably will tell the law. They be like, who dope is it? I, man, I don't know, but if you let me out these handcuffs, you gonna know it about <laughs> 30 <laughs> motherfucking seconds. <laughs> man, you gonna know we about gonna put the yard <laughs> down. Wherever we, when we get to the county, when we get, wherever yeah, we at, nigga, nigga it's I, on. Yeah, man, yeah, come I on, don't man. Know who dope it is, but you might end up knowing in about 30 seconds, you let me out these handcuffs, boy, because I'm finna get on this <laughs> nigga, all right? Boy, I'm finna tell hey. this nigga ass up, my nigga don't get iron on me, my nigga. Different don't get iron on me, because I ain't gonna get iron on you, my nigga. Different generation, man, yeah, all the but way then around, You got man. a lot of niggas, man, I know a bunch of, I didn't watch niggas. Nigga, I take my case, nigga, I stand on mine. Nigga, them like, Pip. Nigga, 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 swallow they motherfucking tongue, nigga, nigga. You be like, God damn, you looking at a nigga like, you know, you in the back car and they be like, nigga, they got the mics on, nigga, don't say nothing. You be looking at a nigga like, damn, my nigga. <laughs> 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 Bitch, nigga. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga look retarded to hey, the motherfucker. Then, oh, but you go, you go, you go look and be like, oh shit, the nigga get to breathing all hard, doing all that shit and all that bullshit, and you like, damn. Uh oh, it's finna be a long ride. Yeah, my man. nigga, man, these niggas, man. That's why you gotta be careful, man. Who you put yourself around, man. Know who you, know who you're around, man. Cause I, I had, I remember one of my partners. I had to stop fucking with that nigga, man. Man, he rest in peace, man. This nigga swayed back, man. I this nigga was a crazy monkey nigga. <laughs> Y'all like the name? How the name just tell you he a crazy nigga? That good old Seattle Saint Nick Juice, man. Hi. Oh, yeah, that man. nigga swayed back, nigga. That nigga hopped in my motherfucking car one time, nigga. Smack, smack, nigga, nigga, nigga. Take, take me over here, nigga. So I say, come on, sway, nigga. We hitting corners and shit. He never tell me exactly where he want me to take. Turn here, turn. I say, hey, sway, man. Where the fuck is you going, my nigga? I say, man, I'm finna drop you off, my nigga. Yeah. I dropped the nigga off. Come back to the hood. I'm talking about I wasn't in the hood maybe five minutes, man. A nigga like smack. You seen sway? I like nigga, I just dropped suede off. My nigga say, yeah, man, them niggas just rolled through this bitch with looking for that nigga with AK. I say, what? Say, yeah, man, suede and done something to something, niggas, man. Them there, I say, oh man, man, that man been in my car 30 minutes. I ain't said one motherfucking word, man. man. Come on, man. I say, man, and next time, smack my eyes, man, go on, on suede, man. I ain't fucking with you like that, man. I ain't fucking with you like that, suede, man. You, you. 
got some other shit going on, man. Cause them niggas, when them niggas rolled up, them niggas wouldn't have took time to think. Nah, hell no, nah. they shooting on everything. Yeah, side, man, man. Everything casualty of war. Casualty of war. You rocking with him? You sitting beside him? Yeah. Oh, you fuck with this nigga? You gonna dump on? Yeah, them yeah, niggas, man. man. I say, man, that niggas. Ah, man, I say that's boy, boy. Hey, y'all, man, y'all ever had a nigga tell on you before? I ain't. Cause everything I may I mainly do by myself and the the niggas I done some too told on me. Swear, show up in the thing pointing and everything. My whole family, <laughs> sister, man, <laughs> listen, <laughs> man. <laughs> they had grandbabies every time, hey, man. <laughs> Nigga took the pacifier. My no. motherfucking listen, man. My mama was in the courtroom. Hey, <laughs> part of that that nigga. My mama was in the courtroom. That's everybody. Yeah. My mama was in the courtroom. Man, the bitch got on the stand. The judge said, "Do you see him in court?" Everybody got on, and so. Mom's like, I'm going to beat your ass. Just blurted out in court. And they looked at her. She like, I don't give a fuck. Take me to court to jail for contempt. But she threw that out there. Yeah. And it changed the momentum in that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, man. Nah, I ain't. Because oh, I ain't never. Oh, my, I ain't got number really a bunch of dope cases. And uh, uh, the last case that I signed for the most time on, as ironic as it is, was a fucking DWI. Because my case, they hit me with habitual criminal, criminal like a motherfucker, man. yeah. And uh, that's what they ended up trying to slam dunk me behind. They went all the way up to 40 years behind that yeah, that's they, they hit you with, they hit you, the state or federal? State, state, yeah. state. But yeah, by the time do they that. came down to 10, nigga, I ain't had no more juice left. They they knew they had me too, nigga. I stopped shaving everything, nigga. I went to court. I was weak in the motherfucker. They said 10 years. I said, man, come on, my nigga. I ain't. Because, see, I, I don't know how y'all county do, nigga, but our, our uh, system is fucked up. They they structure it to try to break you yeah. mentally and make you sign. Yeah. They they wake you up 3 in the morning. Oh, they do that in California. Nigga, they, that 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 trip to the uh the court and if they calling you every morning like that, nigga, you they call me four mornings in a row, my nigga. I ain't I ain't had no more juice left, nigga. Damn. I, I didn't come on with it. They came down to the 10, my nigga. I said, "Come on with it, my nigga." Come. Where well, the pen? I damn near broke the pen in half trying to sign that, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I, I, I said they call me down to this motherfucker. No, no, no I sat in the county for 19 months before fighting the case. That's tough, nigga. Nigga, you know in Texas, nigga, they can hold you in the county. In in Houston, I don't know all the Texas, but in Houston, they I was locked up with this old school nigga out of Third Ward, nigga, named Frenchy. The nigga was in that own. The nigga was just suspic suspicion. They kept him for two whole years and let him go after two years on a date that they booked him in on suspicion, nigga. In Texas, mm -hmm. can in I Houston? Keep it? In Houston, let me tell you. Something now I've seen niggas fight cases for six, seven but years in the county. They never even filed a, 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 a official case on him. Man, he wasn't me, going to court or nothing, nigga. Let me tell you. Oh, uh, seventy-two man. hours in California. Yeah, man, they man, kept hey, Frenchy hey, for two years. That my Texas, nigga. this I swear to God, man, I went to bail somebody out, paid the bail, everything. I can't make this shit up, Houston. The motherfuckers called me on the motherfucker phone, said, oh, you from California? We need you to bring another $500. <laughs> I bullshit you not. <laughs> and I went right back up there, man, and down, and gave him that 500 man. Yeah. Called my, called my bell bonds, man. Bell bonds said, where you at? I said, I'm in Texas. I said, baby, I need you to do me a favor. I said, what? I need you to get in your car. And get the fuck, fuck up, up out, out of there. Texas. Yeah, nigga. They you don't play this? fair. Yeah, not at all. You'll be in the penitentiary in three days, I, baby. I, yeah, yeah. You come on vacation, leave, leave on, on probation, probation, come back on violation. Uh, I remember when when Katrina hit, nigga. They were yeah. slam dunking them woadies. Man, right them woadies was man. going there, man. But the whole thing about it is, like me being a nigga, I am, man. I don't, I don't give a damn who you is, man. I don't want to see now, nigga, take a foul, my nigga. Hmm. And I'm. Me and other niggas too. We trying to educate these niggas. Like they like, no, they can't do that. Well, I'm like, man, you not this in Kansas. That, yeah, no hey, more, you, my you nigga. ain't in Louisiana. Yeah, you my know, nigga. It's thirty days out there. Yeah, they like, yeah, nigga, this Texas, they ain't, nigga, this capital, man, nigga, they, they ain't clean. Man, they was slam dunking them niggas right and left, my nigga. They coming back from court, nigga. Them niggas, 
And then you'll try to tell them, you'll be like, say, my nigga, you need to cut that shit off your head, my nigga. Really? Oh, no, what did I say, my nigga, trust me, my nigga, you need to cut that shit off your head. Because when you go stand in front of the judge, you don't say nothing, but you ain't got to say nothing when, because niggas and in Houston wasn't fucking with dreads like that. Yeah. Nigga. So when they seen it, they automatically know, nigga, they, man, they, they was taking advantage of them niggas. Man, there's a lot of niggas from uh, New Orleans got a whole bunch of unfair time after Katrina <laughs> hit. For, Cause Texas specialized, nigga. We had a motherfucker named Ted Poe, nigga. That nigga was legendary, nigga. The nigga, a license plate said time. <laughs> that what the nigga license plate said, nigga. Time. What? That was the nigga license Man, Ted Poe, hey, nigga. He hey, ended hey. up becoming a a a a a a a a congressman. But he, that nigga was a judge, nigga. That nigga license plate said time, nigga. T I M E. Man. Hey, shots out. I'm going to say the realest shit, man. Shots out to Texas, man, because Texas is its own country. I swear to fucking yeah. God. Texas man. is the only state, only state in America that could fly any flag at the same height as the American flag and it not be considered treason. How many how many flags was over Texas? Six flags over Texas. Man, so then and, and you niggas was just over there. Thought it was just because it was Magic Mountain and shit. Nah, Didn't even understand. Yeah, six flags, niggas. Oh, man, y'all learning some games. Six different, six different territories, oh, nigga. My. You could, you could ride by some in Texas. Like I stay in apartments in the hood, nigga. Just a year and a half ago, they took the flag. They had a real live Mexican flag flying in front of that bitch without oh, a dude. Texas or American flag. It was just a Mexican flag, nigga, in front of the part. That's They were letting you know, nigga, all guala gualas accepted, <laughs> nigga. Come on, nigga, we got y'all. So is the Mexicans is the Mexicans worse in Texas than California? The Me hey, can, I be, can I keep it real with you? Hey, they, they hella niggerish. In Texas, nigga, like they Asians. It fucked my head up when I see. It. I'm, I'm just but, my, but, but, my perspective. Yeah, but the whole thing about it, like y'all, the essays in 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 LA is more communicable. Like they they fuck with y'all. I know that y'all got the gang shit, but they like a part of that culture. Like y'all got a whole yeah. culture. Yeah, like the essays in Houston. Or got their own culture that's separate of from what yeah. niggas. Yeah, nah, they don't. You got some that that like if they grew up and grew up around. around it, the black, okay, but so like same all thing. Of, yeah, same, okay, yeah, I got you. But, them, but got we you. got real live Guad El Salvadorians, Honduran, you know. But and they come because America tells the world to. Come. Nah, they tell the world to be scared of niggas and to be leery of niggas. But once they come and see you and get around you and say, man, I. Ain't no, he ain't no different than me. Man. They love you like a motherfucker. But America, see, I tell niggas all the time, man, the most dangerous thing on this planet is a narrative. Hmm. Whatever a narrative, like, and black people do not control, we don't control what's being said about us around the world. Motherfuckers tell the whole world what to think about us. That's why, nigga, you go somewhere, a motherfucker want, nigga, I go anywhere in the world, nigga, a, a foreign land, nigga, I ain't worried about being kidnapped because they, your America already told them that nigga ain't, ain't worth, worth shit. shit. <laughs> My grandfather used to <laughs> hey, You see that, that the motherfucker Joe Biden <laughs> welcomed 100,000 Ukrainians ain't that a bitch? to no. America. Man, you, that's a lot of motherfucking people. And, and Brittany Griner cake ass still sitting up in that Russian jailhouse, nigga. A nigga ain't worth shit. They they uh, arrested her like she was a bargaining chip. <laughs> like like she America had a... go ease up. <laughs> Say man, man, they don't give a fuck. The only reason Trump went over there and fucked with uh, Putin. Uh, no, no, Le, uh, Leangelo uh -huh. is because he was trying to win black sympathy, and that nigga daddy mouth is so goddamn big. Hmm. So he had, you know, but overall, man, don't nobody give a damn about no nigga no way else, because America man. tell him don't give don't a fuck, fuck about, about us. You nigga, nigga ain't worth nothing. Nigga, your value is zero, nigga. They, they, they look at you as, nigga, African, they really, uh, nigga, I, can, I never forget the day I found out that Africans didn't like us, my nigga. I'll never forget, nigga. I, I, my partner put me down with this Afri bad African bitch. Stay deep southwest, nigga. I had yeah. never been this far southwest in my life. I didn't even know the two Bel Air went that far. Nigga, I was on the bus four hours, man. <laughs> Real shit. Get to this old house. 
And when I walk in, she ain't got no number sisters. It's five of them, nigga. When I walk in the door, they all panic, nigga. And they, I'm talking about, they like, man, this nigga need to get up out of They daddy was a tyrant. That's when I found out, like, them Africans is like essays. They'll beat a bitch up. Nigga. Yeah, they don't, real they not fucked up about it. Real They'll talk. drag a hoe. So uh, <laughs> the nigga came home early, nigga, and they all, the whole house, and my whole thing was, nigga, I ain't hiding from no, I don't give a goddamn. Because yeah, I watched my auntie, when I was 10 years old, my auntie, she she was separated from her husband and staying with us, and this nigga came to see her, and her husband knocked at the door, and Dunn was a big old lumberjack looking nigga, six eight, played college ball. This nigga was a bad nigga, yeah. And she made this nigga get in the closet, nigga, and hide. This nigga was in the closet by two three hours till Dunn left. We opened the closet. This nigga curled up with his thumb in his mouth like a hoe. And I was ten years old. I say in my ten year old mind, I say a bitch would never ever ever make me look this way. In the fucking closet, man. Man, that man was in the closet two, three hours. Man, when, that we ass with him. man when we opened it, the man was sleep with his thumb in his mouth <laughs> like a hoe, my nigga. I had never a grown ass man. So I'm at these African hoes high, nigga, and they daddy pull up, nigga, and they talking about hide, hide. Bitch, I ain't hiding a motherfucking thing. Real I'm going talk. out this door like I came in. And they begging and pleading with me like, no, no, no. And the only thing I hid under the bed, and the only thing that made me do it, they had a two-year-old sister, nigga, and I looked at her, and she was, and I was like, damn, this nigga must be a monster. Because <laughs> this two-year-old baby understand, crying. like, this nigga do not belong in here. <laughs> what is you fucking bitches doing? <laughs> you finna get all of us killed. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got under the bed and the nigga knew something was wrong because they was telling me he he come home from work, he go straight in the room, get in the shower, we bring him his food, he don't come back out. Man, I'm under the bed looking and I'm looking at the door. This nigga just keep walking by and he'll stop. The nigga felt he like something wrong. I don't know if it's their energy, if he feel my presence or what, but that nigga finally got off and went into the room and like a motherfucker and I got from up under the bed and I'm leaving out the door. Guess what this fucking bitch got the nerve to tell me? Huh. Call me when you get home. Fuck it, bitch. I'll kill you, fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'll choke slam you right here. Fuck it. You get your bitch ass. I'm not fucking with you. But the reason I found out is because they, why they all panicking and shit. And I'm like, man, what? She was like, my daddy don't like black men. I was like, bitch, your daddy black. She was like, no. He don't like American black men. I was like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah, we a different race to them. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, they, they cause I, I, I don't want one of them old country, old crispy ass bitches anyway. Hey, you heard, hey, you heard <laughs> it on the movie. Bad African hoes out there in the world. Akatas. I ain't <laughs> a bad African bitch. Yeah, nigga, all them hoes from uh, Lagos, Nigeria, the, the like. Oh yeah, it's a bad bitch. African bitches out there, nigga. I follow some, nigga. I'm, I'm nigga. I'm. They got going, some bad ones in Houston. I'm color struck. They nigga, got some bad I'm ones. I'm going in to Houston. South Fair. I'm going to put dick on them African hoes, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them with. I'm, I'm coming back to the motherland with a gift, bitch. I kill you. Man. I'm a kid. I'm gonna learn your tongue and tell me what did he just say, bitch? I kill. You. <laughs> bitch, I ain't playing. <laughs> so you smack on the boom by game, yeah. try, right? <laughs> boom by. Smack on the boom by game. Fuck it, bitch. Man, what you gonna do? You ever had some African pussy? Man, I had every kind of pussy that exists. Yeah. Real shit. You fall in love. I, I, in love. <laughs> in love. Man, I'm with the one and only Pimp and Silky, man. I've been you in know, love. I've with. been in love. Our bullshit aside. I've been in love. One, two, two times. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Bitch, love ain't nothing but two motherfuckers feeling sorry for each other. <laughs> that, <was shit. laughs> that nigga, that's stupid. Clicking heels uh, and making like deals, what? holding hands and kicking cans. Yeah. Man. You really it ain't, ain't shit but being but making yourself vulnerable to it. Oh, my God, yes. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you been? But Where you, you can't going? really, you can't control it because you go fall for who you fall yeah, for yeah. and the shit just happened. You could go in it like, man, I'm not going to love this motherfucker yeah. and then... Cause, cause the, I, I never intended. Well, especially uh, the second motherfucker I was in love. With, I told, I said, man, I don't want no gal, nigga. I don't want no relationship. But we got to kicking it, and shit just happened. 
but uh, not just the uh, where you going and, and who you kicking it with shit. It's, it's letting the motherfucker know your weaknesses, your fears, and but funky bitches make a nigga not want to love them because a bitch will use that shit against that's you. That's what I'm saying. When it's all bad, that bitch telling you, oh, yeah, that's why your bitch ass is scared of the <laughs> yeah, dark. Yeah. Smack put, <laughs> smack put, smack put emphasis on that bitch, that funky bitch, and that nigga. Hey, he didn't say no, he didn't say no girl, he said no gal. <laughs> Boy, ain't nothing like a Texas nigga, yeah, man. I swear to God. What? Yeah, oh, but on, I, I, I didn't make myself vulnerable to two motherfuckers. I almost got married twice, man. I I can't do yeah. it, man, because a funky bitch ain't shit, my nigga. And the flies know it, my nigga. Real <laughs> shit, boy. Yeah. You, you, you let a bitch, like you just say, nigga, you can't. And the cold part about it is a bitch uh, uh, do it at your most, at the most fucked up time, nigga. Y'all at Thanksgiving, the whole family there, and the bitch will show out. Nigga, right there with your grandmother sitting at the table. <laughs> that bitch gonna be hey, in that stuffing or in that turkey. <laughs> hey, fuck hey, with me. What would you do? You sitting back, man. You sitting over there, man, it's Thanksgiving. Your nephew walk in. He got a bad one, man. Y'all about to eat everything. Your grandma just got done saying the prayer, and she just, hey, man, hey, she just, hey, you bitch ass nigga, you ain't gonna make me a plate. <laughs> and you sitting there. And you... I'm is you going to check the bitch or is you going to check the I'm nephew? I'm going to be like, damn, I ain't going to even make it. I'm going to be like, damn, nephew, that's that's what the business is, nigga. <laughs> oh, you say, oh, I thought you said a bitch saying it to me. Nah, I'll nah, check, nah. I'm nah, about nah. to say, nigga, I'm going to slap her so motherfucking hard, they're going to think a pistol went off in that motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. Oh, if, 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 if she say, <laughs> if she say nephew, that to my nephew. Yeah, you sitting back, you sitting back. I'm talking about you sitting there, man. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. It man, really, it, it really it's nice. I'm going to laugh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, damn. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shit you got going on, nigga? Yeah, cause I, it ain't it ain't my ain't my, my my position to check this whole nigga. Cause if you ain't got enough nuts to do, you know, and, and stand on it, nigga, you know, a damn show ain't for me. Cause you gotta go home with this hoe. Hey man, one time we gonna be talking about that shit when they leave. <laughs> Aunties, grandmas gonna be like, y'all heard that? Hey, I'm in the I'm in the motherfucking. Is it Walmart or is it the Kroger? I think it's the Kroger, man. I swear I'm in I'm in Houston. I'm over there. Off of uh, West Time and shit, right? Man, it's a bitch talking so bad to this nigga. This on my mama. This when I learned, nigga, nigga, mind your business. Nigga, she going in on this. I had never been. I'm like, hey, I told that nigga, I said, man, I said, hey, my nigga, you ain't got to take that, my nigga. That nigga said, mind your business, dog. I said, all right, fam. Hey, Felt I'm stupid than the motherfucker. I'm going to tell you, I, I got shit worse than that, nigga. One time we was on the block, nigga, and this hoe going off on this nigga at the bus stop. It's a law man. We sitting up on the block. I'm looking at the law man at the light. He on the phone like a motherfucker sitting up in his car. And this hoe holl off and slapped the shit out of this nigga <laughs> at the bus stop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And then she get it in the, and, and mushing the nigga like this here, oh. and then pow! And the, the the what was this? The funny part that you know that like this is some recurring shit. Cause while the whole talking to the nigga, he jumping and flinching. And, shit. I say, oh, shit. and the law sitting right there watching. <laughs> and we look at I'm looking at them and looking at the laws and the law laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, 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 I'm looking at I can't just read it a little, but I know he on the phone like man this. Getting on this nigga ass over here. Man, so the fucked up party. Man, that bitch would have been fighting like. Uh, <laughs> but as soon, nah, as soon as you would have downed that hoe. That's what I'm saying. That's the fuck. That, nigga, you don't hit that hoe like that, bitch ass nigga. This hoe. The knocked off man in the hall of night. <laughs> knocked all the enamel off that nigga teeth and not, not as a problem. Oh, like a man, motherfucker. Fuck. I wish the fuck I would. I, rem I remember one time. Would have been like uh, 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 Sugar Ray Leonard and Larry H and uh, uh, Tommy Hearns. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. If I bitch hit me, I'm hitting her back. I remember my, my, my ex, nigga, she had, uh, this bitch had came over I was fucking with. I didn't know the hoe had left clothes in my dirty clothes basket. And my gal came to get my clothes to wash the motherfuckers. I'm I didn't even know she came to get my clothes to wash them. I'm down on the block. My nigga Joe Hollywood at the house, when she get back, he hit me. He's like, smack, man, she down here tripping. So I'm like, on what? He like, man, I don't know, my nigga. So I hop in my shit, shoot down from the block to the house. Phew. And when I walk in, and my nigga sitting on the couch, he like, the bitch hiding behind the door. He like, the bitch. <laughs> so she hop out. Ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> she got the shirt. Rah, rah, rah. And when she's when I see the shirt, I instantly recognize what the fuck. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And she like, I wash your clothes and shit. Yeah. Whoop the whoop. So we I finally get the bitch outside. I, I still got I got my partner Boo and Los, rest in peace, Los, black Mexican. They sitting in the car like a motherfucker. Cause I told him, nigga, I'm come, I'm just finna run down here. Nigga, we shoot back down here. Yeah. Nigga, we dying out. And so when I'm telling the bitch to go on, on, she like, nigga, give me a kiss. I'm like, man, go on, on man, go on, on. She like, nigga, give me a kiss and I leave. So I like, all right. And I go to get a hold of kiss, nigga, and I do one of the, the, the kisses with the closed face, nigga, with the smoochy lips, nigga. <laughs> Smooch the lips with the closed eyes. Yeah, that hoe, and she had a ring that stood up. That bitch hit me in my shit, nigga, foul. Nigga, you see them red and blue lights? I got one on. I'm, I'm searching for this fucking bitch. Bitch, I, I grab that hoe and chunk that hoe up in there, and I watch her when she land on her neck. Boom. Ooh. But when the hoe hit me, foul. My first instinct, I look over there at Carlos and, and boo them. They, ah, they all over the car. Yeah, they all over the But when I grab this hoe and chunk this hoe on her neck, they jump, I smack you tripping. No, was I tripping when the hoe hit me in the eye? Hit me in the, me the eye. Yeah, I'm nigga, lying. why you ain't come grab the hoe? Nah, I'm tripping. No, nigga, I chunked this hole on a throat muscle. Bitch, you don't put your hands on me. <laughs> Got me fucked up. Bitch, if you don't, if, let me tell you something, fucking bitch. It's your choice to be with a nigga or not. I, I, I ain't never lied to a bitch. A bitch know what it is with me from the jump. Bitch, I fuck bitches, fucking bitch. Yeah. And, it, you know, don't let the bitch be your best friend, fucking bitch. I'm just saying. But I fuck bitches, and I ain't going to hide that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but it's your choice to to deal with a nigga. Yeah. I ain't never made a whole state. <laughs> I ain't never made a whole state. By bitch, choice, not by force. Like a motherfucker, bitch. Bitch ass nigga, I heard my dad ripped the dough off the hinges. You have to call maintenance man to come put this bitch back on. <laughs> bitch, you can get up out of here. Don't give a fuck. I need a bitch like I need another hole in my head, my nigga. I don't, I'm not going to make no hole stay, and I ain't, bitch, I'm not going to try to force myself to be with you, fucking bitch. Hey, right, so you ain't never, man, you ain't never dropped your pants and let it, man, let me smell your dick with it, man. Where you been at? Mm-mm. Never robbed, no, you ain't never, man. Nah, uh-uh. Nah. You ain't never? No, nah, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't, I don't, never, I don't play man. that. I don't play that, man. I... I, one of my partners called me one time, and I swear to God, man, it was one of my close partners too, man. I'll go, I'll finna go over that nigga house and whoop that nigga, my nigga. Nigga called me, you could hear it in a nigga voice. I'm like, my nigga, what's up? Man, get what this whole ass nigga tell me. Mm. Man, her panties smell funny. I say, nigga, what did you just tell me, my nigga? Man, her motherfucking panties don't smell like they. Panties smell funny. My nigga, what are we talking about, my nigga? <laughs> One, first of all, my nigga, hold up, my nigga. I don't, this is too much information for me, my we, nigga. Like, talk. I'm like, my nigga, what is you doing, my nigga? Like, and, and the cold part about it was, this my nigga, man. We fuck bitches together. Like, so what? My nigga, don't, don't dish. I, I, I just had a conversation with a motherfucker the other night. She like, well, what if I fuck niggas? I say, and what if you do, fucking bitch? <laughs> Man, that's your cock meat, fucking bitch. It's only mine when I'm in it. <laughs> and it's only mine halfway, fucking bitch, because half of it still belong to you. Man, what you, what you going to do, man? People sue you, man. You go to the house, man, and the bitch, man, you know what I'm saying? Over there demanding that it's only her and only her. Well, shit, she gonna have to pay. Yeah. She gonna have to, if she wanted to be her, she got to, however deep I am, she got to pay, she got to make up for all them, that, a many, you know, if I'm four deep, she got to pay like it's you four bitches. four, man, for four, not five. Yeah. Including her, huh? Yeah, bitch, I take tips. Gratuity, <laughs> gratuity is welcome, funky bitch. Yeah, I ain't, man. So when did, the value, when did the value of pussy go up above dick? And they start letting these hoe ass niggas listen to these funky bitches. Hmm. When motherfuckers with beards start wearing eyelashes and shit. <laughs> that ain't fucks you up? Yeah, you ain't funny. seen them motherfuckers? What niggas is you talking about? Man, they got niggas 6'5 with full beards wearing eyelashes and nails. 
Hey, look, this oh, on. Oh, well, you, yeah, you, not, you on got my, all types. Hey, on my mama's, <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you. I've been boosting Bellas, man. Man, gave me a hard time getting in there and shit. I buy my own section by myself. Man, I'm in the club, man. Hey, this nigga, man, this nigga, uh, Magic Johnson's son walk in with no problems. <laughs> with no what? Uh, no problems. Uh, shout out to my nigga Goose the Great, nigga. Goose the Great just caught shivers like a mother. Uh, anytime you say Magic Johnson's son or Dwayne Wade's son, Goose the Great is might he might be putting up a post right now on Instagram. <laughs> nigga, your page gonna get to a cake. <laughs> but man, that nigga, that, hey, man. That, that nigga just walked. I, I couldn't, I, I just had to sit back and I'm, I'm my, mind you. I'm talking about they gave me. Oh, they gave me three. Oh man, this probably ain't the club for you. I said, what the fuck you mean? They was letting was you know tonight club, is day night. It wasn't gay night though. This Every was, night is gay night in Hollywood. Man, hey, shit, hell nah, cause I be in the club. It's, it's gay night as soon as that nigga walk in. That's what it turned into. <laughs> On my mama, it was bitches. I mean, I'm it's bitch. I, I, oh, I'm looking. Look, like, this how cold it was. That nigga called out and all the and all the niggas that's in there that's pretending to be stiff nigga. Man, Let me tell you something. I walked nigga. out on my that's why I'm the, the key man. I walked out on my motherfucking section. I'm gonna tell Couldn't you believe it. Like, I'm gonna tell you some of the realest shit I could ever tell you, my nigga. You wanna find out who what niggas is really 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 gay on in the penitentiary nigga go to lockdown and let it be a punk on lockdown oh man you gonna find out what niggas is really stand up and what nigga just for the simple fact nigga we was on lockdown one time nigga and they come through the feed nigga and you know they feed a nigga like a two dollar jensen trick up in that motherfucker on lockdown you be like my nigga Hook me up on, on another tray. Oh, I can't do it, my nigga. Same bitch ass nigga. 15 minutes later, double back around and get his whole ass nigga over here in this cell. Hey, my nigga, what are you doing, my nigga? <laughs> Gotta keep that punk booty fat, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey look. <laughs> Gotta keep the booty fat. Nigga. I was in Corcoran's shoe. Hey, I was in Corcoran's shoe, right? And oh, I'm watching. It's a gay dude in the, in the, in the shoe with us, right? And I'm just in the window just looking. And I'm just seeing the kites just. Shh, 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 shh. Like, what the fuck? Or they showering. And when it's time for them to bring him out, nigga, you look out the window, all these niggas at the window looking. He he hit it the hammer on the nail, nigga. You put a homosexual in a lockup. Yeah. You go see who who's who. Yeah, for real, my nigga. That shit fucked me smooth up, my nigga. To this day, it, it still fucks me up, my nigga. I, I remember the very first time I ever went to the penitentiary, nigga. And it was a nigga. My, shout out to my nigga, uh, Key Man Pasadena Blood, nigga. We was locked up together, man. Key Man was my motherfucking nigga, man. Huh. Uh, and we sitting now. And this big old, big old nigga. That's why I just said on, on my post that I put up the other day, man, some of the toughest niggas on the farm be having boyfriends, nigga. Man, this nigga just go to just bust and slob with this nigga. They just all into it, my nigga. And this the first time I've been to a unit unit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? And key man bumping me like, mind your business, my nigga. My, and it was a big old nigga, nigga by six seven, by two sixty, cut the fuck up, nigga. I, at that time, I probably was, you know, one fifty, <laughs> one fifty like a motherfucker. I was still, I was still trying to shake back from dope fiend status off the streets, nigga. But man, that shit there, man, that shit, nigga. I remember one time. The first time I seen a nigga put dick on a nigga in a penitentiary, that shit taught me not to look in another nigga cell, my nigga. Oh! I'm going what? down the run, and before I get to the cell sinker, you can hear the mm, mm. So, you know, the cell about two, three doors up, but you can hear the rumbling. And when you get to it, at the peripheral, you see the niggas moving. And so I cut my head and the nigga just killing that nigga with that dick, nigga. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> he was killing that nigga with the dick. <laughs> he was taking it like a champ, nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> nigga, I heard you up and ran down the stairs, nigga. I said, damn, man, they need to, uh, I wish that shit that they had on Men in Black was some real shit where they hit the nigga with the flag. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, God damn, my nigga. This world, boy, this world is this world, my nigga. Man, I don't want no parts of that shit. No. That would have fucked me up. Yeah, my nigga. Real shit. That nigga. would've fucked me Imagine up. Imagine going to chow, nigga, and coming back and the whole motherfucking place smelling like open booty, my nigga. You like, man, what the f and these two bitch ass niggas didn't go to chow and trying to sit there like <laughs> nigga, the whole place stink. What the fuck is we talking about, my nigga? <laughs> Y'all just sitting here like watching TV like it ain't shit. My nigga. And the guard, you like, man, it's stinking that motherfucker. You get your bitch ass up and the guard's talking to you, handling you rough and shit. Yeah, yeah man, I wouldn't wish penitentiary. I was just telling the motherfucker, man, in order to survive the penitentiary, man, you got to become insane in order to stay sane. That's the only way to maintain that. Because if you try to become, if you try to take like a real world mentality, like the sanity that of the world in that man, you ain't going to make it. You're going to go insane for real. So the best thing you could do is go insane and fit in with that other insanity in order to make that shit make sense, man. Because that shit, that's crazy as fuck, man. That shit there, it's really a, 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 a lot of motherfuckers don't even know, uh, Silky, that if you if you go to the penitentiary, that's like, uh, you could actually get benefits from the government because that's, uh, it's like, uh, social security, it's like a handicap. PTSD. Yeah, yeah, you could have, they just send you through so much red tape to get it, but if you stay down, no, you can get your, you can get your disability check, all that shit from going to the penitentiary because that shit there is really some debilitating shit, man. It takes a special motherfucker to go to the penitentiary, especially if you've done a bunch of time and come out to this world and still be able to function. How long, how long did it take you to, to realize that mindset, that you got to change your mindset when you went in? Like how you just said, like, you got to kind of go insane? Yeah, it, it probably took me about three days. Yeah. Yeah, it took me about three. But the 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 first day that I really, that I really, 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 really seen that okay, like this is some other shit that I gotta adjust to was day one, nigga. We go to chow. The first time I ever go to chow is dinner time because when you first get there, you spend all day processing in, and you don't get to to your bunk and shit until it's getting ready to call dinner time. You process in process in you miss lunch but you get that by dinner time and so i'm now and you know this is my first time being locked up i really don't know so i'm get my tray i sit down and we talking you know instead of eating a nigga talking and a long man walk by and tap on the table i don't know this first time i'm locked up i don't know what the fuck that means yeah so niggas like oh it's it's time to get up and i'm like damn i ain't ate and they were like, yeah, but it's time to go, my nigga. So I'm walking, trying to eat at the same time. And the CO slapped that whole ass shit. Boom, I said, it's just time to go. God damn, my nigga. <laughs> Pick that whole ass shit up, inmate. I'm like, nigga, you the one who knocked it down. You trying to challenge me, inmate? Nah, nigga, I don't want no motherfucking problem. Nigga, I don't want no. Where do I put this whole ass shit? Real talk. <laughs> you know, slide that shit. The next day, nigga, they call chow. That nigga, we sit down, them nigga, they're trying to talk. I say, hey, man, I'll holler at you when we get back to the dorm, my nigga. Fuck that, nigga. I was starving like a motherfucker all night, man. Like, that, it's a whole different, like, these youngsters be thinking, that shit cool, man. And I was raised on the mentality that, because the environment that I was in, like, I, I put it up one time and talked about it, and one nigga, and I, un, I knew he didn't understand. He was limited in his own way of thought. So when I said the shit I, that I said, he didn't understand what I was saying. Like, if this is what you raised around and this is what you're taught to praise and this is what you taught to believe, like, we wasn't... In my community, nigga, you wasn't a real nigga. You wasn't a real man 
until you went to the penitentiary and came back. Yeah, that's the sad part, man. Yeah. My and mine was the same yeah. way. Man. And when you come back, it's nothing but love. And especially, you know, motherfuckers is writing, writing home. Motherfuckers is coming home while you doing your stretch, <laughs> telling motherfuckers what you doing on the yard. Real man, tough. that nigga smack holding it down. So when you touch down, it's love. Oh, that go out with nigga. Oh, I would nigga. And you feel like, oh, damn, nigga. Oh, nigga, I'm ready to go back right now, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, real talk. You know, and that's some shit. You know, as for us, man, it's real sad because one thing that I, I realize and I understand and that I've come to grips with is that us as being melanated people, black people, African-American, Moors, Aboriginal, I know it's so many different names and different motherfuckers out there that say, I'm this, we yeah, that, yeah, we that. Adapt hey, to- man, you a nigga. We're you in talk. America, bitch ass nigga, you a nigga. When the laws get behind you, they didn't get behind you because they seen a Moor, they seen an African-American, they seen a, they seen a nigga, bitch ass nigga. That's why the fuck that nigga stepped on George Floyd neck because he seen a nigga. But uh, one thing I came to realize is, man, that for the most part, we'll, be all, we'll always be under these white folks' oppression. And when I say white folks, I know a lot of white folks take offense to it, but I don't mean average, everyday white folks, because you a nigga. Real <laughs> talk. You know Real it talk. <laughs> Real talk. You a nigga, whether you know it or not. To, to your own people, you a nigga, because they feel like, bitch, that nigga, we gave you a 400-year head start, and you still sitting right there in the same position that they sitting in. So but I, when I say white folks, I mean the motherfuckers who call the shots, who rule the world. Uh, we'll always be under their oppression because them people, they thinking 100 years ahead, and we still thinking 100 years behind. Niggas still asking for reparations and celebrating black history. What about black future, bitch-ass nigga? Them white folks got motherfuckers sitting up in offices strategizing on the next 100, 200 years. We still talking about some shit that happened 100, 200 17 years. 1700 that we ain't going to get, ain't trying to get, ain't going to get. No. And, and the thing about it is the white man, you know, the white man ain't going to, all, all a nigga like me, what I ask for, I'm not asking for reparation. Nigga, nigga, my nigga, all I'm asking for what I seen is the most valuable thing that a black man could have in America is for the white man to get out of our way. Hmm. So self-govern? Self-govern yeah, ourselves? Just get out of our way, period. Because any time we go to doing for ourselves, we see what they do because they know the power that it is, what they do to the Panthers when they seen niggas organizing. When Malcolm went to talking, hmm. at the end, they didn't kill Martin because of nonviolence. They killed Martin because his motherfucking ideology began to change. He became, he was becoming more militant. His la- Did you listen to his last speech before he died? Real talk. Did you listen to the last interview before he died? He started saying, fuck with these white folks' money. His last interview. Farrakhan, I went to a, um, <clears throat> a little thing. Farrakhan was talking. And he was saying that blacks spend something billion dollars we in a on, on, on Christmas. Oh, Christmas. On Christmas. He said, for that one day, if all the blacks don't spend money, it will fuck the economy up for 20 years. Not just not just that one day, man. I, motherfuckers always ask me, well, smack you talk all this shit. Well, what's the answer? The answer is for us to operate outside the system. You got too many niggas still trying to operate within the system, my nigga. You can't, that's why, like we just said, that's why they killed Malcolm, because mm-hmm. he went to operate outside of, si- of the system. Uh, Ma- Ma- Martin was still talking about civil rights. Civil means within the United States borders. Once you go overseas and everything, the civil thing they killed Gaddafi over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same thing. See, and that's the, you know, from, even being at this spot right here, that's 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 my concept. Black on, black business. Pick and choose. Talk how y'all want. Drink how y'all want. Lay how y'all want. Man, do it. You know what I'm saying? And it just be a blessing, man. You know, man, we on this spot at this spot. 
on mama's man you feel me excuse me excuse me general i had to step out of a quick emergency oh, real God, quick man you know what i mean i know i'm out y'all man i know i'm with real ones man professional she needed that zeal Hey, I'm trying to be so so humble right now. <laughs> Say, but uh, while I'm while I'm in the in the zone, my nigga, because it's, it's a it's a lot of shit that need to be addressed when it comes to us because we are our own biggest obstacles, whether niggas know it or not, or whether you willing to admit it or not, because. America is not not worried about us rebelling, overcoming, ever beginning in the position of power because we got to overcome our motherfucking self first and foremost. And that's some shit that I don't even think we'll be able to do because if a motherfucker, it's a such thing as the King, King Arthur, the King Arthur plan. It's a 16 step in case niggas ever decide to rebel and actually got a chance of changing some shit hmm. with it with violence and shit. But uh the shit that we gotta face is so deep internal. Like <clears throat> let's say we decide to rebel. Mm -hmm. Let's just say mm -hmm. for hypothetical. What is the first thing white people are gonna do? White people in a position of power. You got first thing they're gonna try out to us is our so called leaders. Mm -hmm. Niggas like Al Sharpton and and but 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 this the cold this the cold part. Those aren't our leaders no more. No, part. no. But I'm just saying. I'm yeah. saying niggas like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, we yeah. really we really don't have any leaders. No, right we, now. but we now, do. We do, but we don't. Not, 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 not even Farrakhan. Not even. No, I'm that not level. talking about Farrakhan. I'm talking oh, about niggas me. like Jay. We look at Jay Z as a leader. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but. Social, we that, all our leaders are chosen for us. Off top, off top, motherfuckers tell us who our leaders is. They commercial, hella yeah, commercial. Yeah, you know and what I'm and you know, being a nigga that's sitting on a billion dollars, they gonna trot that nigga out there, and he gonna tell you to calm down, because the white man is gonna grab him and let him know. My nigga, you need to get these niggas to sit their motherfucking ass down, because if you can't get these niggas to sit down. We don't need you, nigga. So either we gonna take all your money, freeze your assets, and put you, imprison you, or we gonna kill you, nigga. We don't need you. Just to, but because because what, nigga? Do you think Jay Z would actually sacrifice his comfort and everything? Hell no. Nah. For nigga, nigga, the average nigga, ain't nigga, that's what motherfuckers I, are snitching. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, <laughs> I, and I don't, and, and I'm sitting here talking this shit, but like, how much is my integrity worth? Question me. I'm not sitting here and saying I'm above it, my nigga, because I'm right here in the trenches with it. I'm not sitting, don't take it as smack saying I'm holier than thou yeah, or I'm yeah. more than this nigga. How much is my integrity worth? If they man. put, if I'm able to get on a big ass super yacht and live my life, hey man, you niggas is tripping. <laughs> nigga, y'all don't see how good we got it? Man, what's wrong with these niggas? Hey man, y'all need to chill, man. The white man love us. Nigga, look what he done for us. Ain't hey, now one of them look niggas on that us. yacht. Man, look how he got niggas. Nigga, what we, nigga, look what we doing. But those is the leaders now, man. It was these are our youngsters are so brainwashed. Yeah, and they try, and that's who they gonna try out in front of. And then you got them niggas. Okay, let's say them niggas don't work. You still gotta overcome these niggas. Man, them niggas tripping, nigga. I ain't, uh, nigga, fuck that whole ass shit. Y'all niggas fucking with that white man like that. That white man gonna kill the shit out of you niggas. You got them niggas to contend with. Then you got these niggas to contend with. Nigga, I got bills to pay. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? You got so many of our own people that, like, nigga, you would have to do away with at least half to three fourths of our population, and then after you do that, there ain't nothing left to fight with, my nigga. What well, the the fucked up part is, if we just went in a bomb shelter for ten years, the way that these motherfuckers is going with sticks and just shooting and everything, imagine what we wake up to. 
craziness, madness, nigga. I got actually got a movie that's something like that. But I be trying to get niggas to understand, like, every time uh, an election cycle come around, if you really want to change something, my nigga, niggas, don't vote. If every nigga in America did not vote, that would scare the shit out of them people, on, man. man. Because on. as long as the easiest way to kill any movement is to accept it and to make it mainstream. What you think, man? Silky, what you think? What he said. Yeah, nigga, you don't even know what he said. Nah, he said if niggas stop voting. <laughs> Niggas That's true, but it's always going to be some monkey-ass Uncle Tom niggas think, like, man, I'm not I'm doing saying. that. What you think, man? That's the then it's just like in the penitentiary. You just got to you started. Ain't man. none of the blacks going to chow today, man. Shit, I ain't got no stove. <laughs> what I'm going? It's always a handful of niggas that's gonna be like, fuck and all that's that. All they need. It's it's all a they handful. need. That, that, that handful of combat. Handful. It don't take much Come on, to combat man. the 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 majority, especially in in today's society, my nigga. It don't it don't take much, man. They gonna they gonna make nigga. They not gonna promote no. The, like it's certain agendas they push, and my agenda is not one they push because they like yeah smack a monkey nigga. But them peoples, them people watching, they like man y'all that nigga ain't dumb. Man, that we see this bitch ass nigga, what he trying to, what he think he trying to do, nigga, you can't outsmart us. Real you tough. tell these niggas all this monkey, yeah, ha, 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 but then you dropping all this underlining information, planting these seeds on these niggas, nigga, we see what the fuck you doing, and that's why I don't get. That's why you niggas don't share my shit like you share the mother nigga shit. And you it's sub, it ain't even a, a conscious thing of hatred that you niggas doing it. It's more subconscious because I tap in on some shit that you were taught to fear. Real and tough. it pushes that shit away. It pushes it because I'm, that's what I do, nigga. It's empowerment, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, each yeah, one yeah. of these, like, man, I'm going to keep it 100, man. Each, when you see these shows and you see these certain gentlemen and how we make these panels and how we, it's empowerment. Each each person right here is a power. My brother, man, my brother's a rider, man. If you didn't know that, man, you know what I'm saying? My brother's a rider, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they do their thing. Personality, strong personalities, man, like going. So it's like, I like to sit back and be like, okay, here go a real man, here go some real shit. Here go some real jewels. When they say, what do they think that, because I'm tired of seeing, I be seeing, you, you know, you know. We go to these spots. We see these niggas supposed to be Hollywood, gatekeepers, everything. Nigga be want to slap the shit out of this motherfucker. And then you see everybody following up. Oh, yeah, he cool. You need to know him. Oh, yeah, you need to have that nigga number. Oh, oh no, you know. what about the snitches? He didn't tell on me. Come on, man. That shit, that's later for that. Them days is over. Nigga telling, man. Nigga telling all day. And ain't they ain't doing nothing to him. What if, man, the fucked up... I, I had a man, hey, the only reason, the only motherfucker that ever told on me was a motherfucker that I did some shit over here. His fault. His movement. Man, these niggas, you know, if these niggas are tell on that level, my nigga, we'll definitely never get uh, anything going productive as a community because them niggas going, you got niggas, you got a whole bunch of niggas that are that are uh, suck a dick for a dollar, my nigga. Man, come on, man. They they are set. They, these niggas ain't got no integrity, I, my nigga. Hey, they told on Malcolm. Yeah. They told on Martin. Yeah. They niggas ain't got no integrity, my nigga. Like, and integrity is high on my lip. But I still say, like, how much is my integrity worth? Well, I, I was sometimes, man. It's Cause a lot a uh, a uh, 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 real. I ain't gonna say a real nigga, but any nigga a sit in front of a camera, nigga, my integrity, nigga. Ah, yeah, it sound good, my nigga. That shit sound real, real good because you you know, your integrity might not necessarily be worth money. It might be worth pussy. This the thing. They put they find out, man, them nigga here been wanting to fuck Holly Berry his whole life. They drop that hoe in your lap. Nigga, he fucking her. And, and, we and he'll is. say, oh, hey, nigga, we'll take this hoe away from you, nigga. Yeah, but you better get out here and tell these niggas and you better sing and dance. So, hey, so, if we know. separated right now, if we separated, if we decided to separate, what would be, the, what would be the, the five things that we would need in order to survive right now? If we just separated, if we just... You need Water, you need, bread. Land. You need land. land. Uh, you need structure. And that's probably gonna be the, cause I I gotta. I thought she was talking about us. 
Nah, he's oh, talking, talking about, about our race. Yeah, I'm talking about them, them, We need land. Yeah, you need land. We got to build. We got to build. We need something to build but on. You need, but you need structure. Yeah, yeah. You need structure. Structure. Yeah. That you need structure. You need defense. You need def- you need somebody to defend you. Mm-hmm. You probably gonna those are, are are three of the top and probably the other two, cause cause you know I all uh, I sit and think, man. I'm I'm a philosopher, even though nigga, nigga you ain't no motherfucker philosopher. Why? Cause the white man ain't tell you I'm a philosopher. They also said Doctor Sebi wasn't a doctor, but they killed him because he was so much of a doctor more than this his shit to keep you off them whole ass pills and shit your whole life, bitch ass nigga. When I tell you I'm a philosopher, I think very deeply, bitch ass nigga. Man, uh, tell him again. Yeah, but. The whole thing about it is, my nigga, I thought about some shit. And I was like, if you actually take us and you put us in a position where we are given a chance to where we can start our own motherfucking place of existence for us. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you know how fucking difficult that would be, my nigga? Man, come on, man. See, now you think, because look, how many, think about it like this. We got hella rappers, right? How many civil engineers do we have? Not just that, but what I'm saying is the very beginning of, because at the very beginning of America, you had to, who they call the forefathers. They mm-hmm. all got in a room and they structured a constitution and they constructed a bill of rights, mm-hmm. laws. So here you go, and I actually, this here, and I'm probably exposing my hand on some shit, but uh, but you take, because you got a bunch of different type of black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got Muslims, you got the Christians, you got gang bangers, you got street niggas, you got pimps, you got, so you you take the best of the best, what okay. we feel, cause that's what they felt like was the best in 1776 when all this shit started, or who they decided about Best inventor, best inventor, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. you take the best of the best and you put them all in a room. That And, and it has to be somebody in there to represent all these different factions. You got to have somebody in that representing street niggas. Real talk. You got to have somebody in that representing uh, Christianity, even though that's some shit that the white folk niggas ain't heard of, of Jesus since the white the white man. You heard of Jesus when the white man told you about him. Real talk. You didn't know who the fuck Jesus was. The white man told you who he was. Real you talk. know, you, nigga, you, uh, nigga gave you that shit in slavery. I, I ask niggas this all the time. Do you believe that you was given anything in slavery to free you? They gave, they gave you Christianity, though. Oh, but that's how they conquer you. But I'm just saying, though. Exactly. They never gave you nothing to free you in slavery, but they gave you Christianity, though. But, but, but you niggas stand on, arr, 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 God, free me. Jesus, 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 nigga, Jesus ain't, ain't answered you in 400 years, bitch ass nigga. Get the fuck up out of here. But anyway. Spirituality and ancestors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, know, so you take all these different factions of niggas and you put these niggas <laughs> in one room and tell them to create a government and a system of laws for every motherfucking black person in America of the of of Af- of African indigenous slavery descendants and we finna start our own country nigga how long you think it'll take before they either kill each other or come over cuz cuz get what you make a good point oh, I swear to god you make a good point cuz guess what cuz the what's going to happen when the Islamic muff, the best of the best and the Islamic motherfuckers stand up and say, I think we need to outlaw pork. <laughs> hey, man, they gonna get this nigga, man. They gonna get this nigga. <laughs> they on him, man. <laughs> nigga, the whole hey. room gonna turn upside down. Hey, hey. If you can implement a law. Silky, if you can implement a law, man, great point. If you can implement a law, what would be the first law you'd implement? 
We doing right now. We sitting here. We sitting at the we, center we table. We developing a government right now for a new black society. Right now, you got land. They didn't ordain. They gave us reparations and land. We got our own land, and you got to create. What's the law that you feel like is most important to have on the books? Yeah, and then see, hey, say, that's, yeah. that's tough, ain't it? Oh, man, no, no. If you if 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 because, if you do something to a kid or an old person, they okay. fire a squad. Say, I love your point. Now, now that's something that we can all agree. But but guess what though? I, we can all agree upon that. But then when you told him that, guess what? He went to searching that though. He went to searching within the real with nigga in him himself because he still had to relate to a certain faction that he stands with. Like I just can't say. No gang banging, or I just can't say no dope selling. Oh, mama, that's what I say. It's a, it's a cold point. Great point. Get rid of all the guns and make you fight. Hmm. Boy, nigga, it's a lot of niggas. <laughs> it's a Man, lot why you, of niggas that's not going for that. Why you do that? Oh, this is my with no pistols. Man, the crime rate would be, be negative a million. Niggas be slapping niggas my no. wow. left but, and right. Eventually, but one thing, you got to worry about the nigga that, that bring the white man into the meeting and say, oh, he with me, he cool. You got to worry about that. But two, I sat, like I said, I'm a philosopher, my nigga. I sat and actually, I I. I philosophized on how gang guns came to be and how you can never get rid of them. Because mm. here you take two men way back in ancient times. This man here beat this man up. And he might be a man of pride. He go back, he beat him up again. He beat him up again. But now this nigga like, I ain't taking another ass whoop. So you Next time equalizer. he goes to him, he got a rock. And the nigga throw his hands up and he hit him with the rock. So he don't die. So the nigga get up and he like, oh, this whole ass nigga hit me with a rock. So he like, okay, I'm gonna be ready for this bitch ass nigga next time. This nigga got a rock. I'm gonna get a stick. This is gonna keep evolving and evolving and, and keep, evolving. Yeah, keep evolving to the point. But but good point. We we in this new we in this new society. Yeah. All uh, right. You say, man, one one on the thing. What would you say two? Two on the thing, man. What law. Second law. Second law. Second law. It'd be anything. Second, but this second law. Second law. All murder. All murder is punishable by death. Hmm. Eye for an eye. You murder somebody, you die. You murder somebody, you die. Ain't no, ain't no if ands buts about it. Nowhere around. You kill a black man in our black society, you die. If you get caught. If you get caught. That way, if you kill a motherfucker. If 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 not not just killing him up, but if you're guilty of assaulting him, not killing in defense, but if yeah. you're guilty of assaulting. Like, a, a okay, man. because I was gonna say with that one. If you kill, if you kill, fuck it, I'm finna go kill today. If you do it, it better be worth your life. It's, if his life is worth yours, do what you gotta do. Yeah. You know what you got coming. Yeah, yeah. So that way, when but a motherfucker that, do it. That, and that's why I say in a, if you assault another man, you know, but if it's in defense or if it's in defense of your family, your property, Hmm. You know, okay. But if you just... Justifiable. Yeah, justifiable. If justifiable. Yeah, justifiable. justifiable. Yeah. yeah. If, if, and then the crazy part, <laughs> as OG dude said, man, you know, anybody could just get one murder. Like, oh, you know, you had no choice. You just killed them and just, you pressured into it. But you need to keep on doing it. You got to have multiples to really be a killer. I said, you sick, man. But it's true, though. What he said was true. Anybody, hey, you yeah. know... You get a murder, oh, you know. Yeah, you kill he a nigga by accident. With me. You can kill yeah. somebody by accident. Right. That yeah, don't like, make you a killer. Right. And he said when it's multiple. Yeah, like when you set out to kill a mother, when you wake up with it on your mind, real yeah, you're a killer, my nigga. Because I know some real live motherfucking, I was raised around them, my nigga. I was raised around them, my nigga. I know them, my nigga. I know them, my nigga. Say bone crushes and shit, man. Yeah, nah, I know them, my nigga. I know, I know some... I know some niggas 
who answer for everything. It's killing. It's kill. Hmm. That's they answer for everything. It be the smallest shit. The smallest kill shit. Em. You be like, damn, my nigga over that? Yeah. It's killing. We get in. I, I know niggas like that. I was raised around them, nigga. My, my God, the nigga who took my mama when her water broke. That nigga is locked up right now. The nigga was a bona fide killer. The nigga mm. got, right after I was born, the nigga snatched the motherfucking law, man. Law, the police was not allowed in our project, 790. That's what 790 but, but mean behind my name. That's my block. Mm -hmm. The police was not allowed in now. Hmm. But we had a law band coming in. He was pretending like he was the ice cream man. Hmm. And somebody seen him suiting up to go make a bus and came in and said, man, I just seen an ice cream man around the corner suiting up. He a law man. And the next day, that nigga drove that whole ass ice cream truck through there. They snatched that nigga ass up out of there. Killed that nigga and hung him over a block of ice in the, in the motherfucking, uh, back there in the trails, hmm. behind the ghettos, nigga. And that nigga pulled, he got locked up the year I got, I, uh, I, I was born, which is 75, and he got out in, in 2001. He pulled 26 years. And when the nigga got out, the world had changed so much because I got out after he went back because I got out and my pops was out because my pops pulled 15 on a 45 ad. Hmm. And he was, my pops was telling me about it. He was like, yeah, man, that nigga was out. I say the nigga went up to a law man and told him, man, take me home, man. I can't, I can't survive right here. here. Real talk. And he said the law man way. told him, nigga, I can't just take you to jail for nothing. Say so he hit the law man in the mouth bow, and put both his hands out. Real talk, and it's and institutionalized <laughs> on mamas. Damn. Damn. I heard, man, I, man, I had those, man, OGs tell me shit like yeah. that, man. This the nigga that took my mama to the hospital when her water broke, man. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They made him my godfather, hmm. you know, because, you know. Them was different kind of brothers back then. Nah, man. Yeah, 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 he a different nigga, man. Man, different, different, different kind of nah, brothers. Nah, them niggas, out, them niggas, that was killers, man. And everybody in my environment, when they made the very first Top ten most dangerous places to stay in America. My my block was on that motherfucker. Back in the man, yeah, 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 yeah it was on that. That the ghettos was, nigga. That's why it's, that's that's why it's so weird to be the age, to be in the cities, to be in the places, and it be a nigga one hundred and forty five pounds. <laughs> Run right up on yeah, man, hey. And well, it's like, know, man, and it's like, man, come on. But, get but the one fuck. thing, one thing. I, I, I've come to realize, though, Nick, is that we got to respect evolution, my nigga. Like us, our parents didn't want to respect evolution. When hip-hop came, oh, that's Real bullshit. Tough, yeah. You got to respect evolution, my nigga. Like shit, for better or worse, because shit... A lot of shit with us is getting worse and worse and worse, my nigga. But we got you got to you still got to respect it for what it is, my nigga. Even though I don't look at it in the same light that what I was taught to believe in. Yeah. These niggas like you can't you damn near can't be mad at these niggas, nigga, cause you was out there selling that nigga mama crack when she was pregnant, cake ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You sold that lady that crack while she was seven, eight months pregnant, my nigga. You did that. You did man, that, my nigga. Oh, man. You hey. did that. Hey, can you I did you? that, my nigga. And not just saying you. Nah, but, but the motherfuckers we, did, yeah. We did that, my nigga. So I don't, see, so I don't see. look at that nigga. That nigga is your son. That's something you made. That's you something you helped that create, you my real nigga. On that. You real That's on something that. we helped create, my nigga. Really my nigga, that. I was out on the block one night, man. It's about two in the mornings in the ghettos, man. And this motherfucker is about to pop, nigga. Her shit, I'm talking about at any moment. And she came out there to buy some dope. And I'll never forget this, my nigga. My nigga Jojo. And he, this is... This men niggas in our hood I always say this is the nigga who they pattern the, the character O Dog after. Hmm. In our hood. We just that's a, yeah, a yeah, running yeah, joke, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. running theme. And she came out there to buy some dope and that nigga took her money. He was like, bitch, go in the house. 
man, do you know this whole chase? This this bitch about to pop. Like at any every step she take, I'm like, oh shit, bitch, you, <laughs> <About to go, laughs> Mr. Baby, go, <laughs> Mr. Baby, go fall right on, on the, the block, <laughs> on the block. <laughs> you know, to the point to where the bitch climbed up the car, nigga, cause he ran and, and was standing at the trunk, and he kept running around the car. The bitch climbed all the way up the car, my nigga. I was like, oh, shit. Man, ain't the fucking oxymoron with that crack dead, and then we looking at this fentanyl and how these motherfuckers is dropping like flies. Yeah. They the shit, the evolution of drugs, my nigga. That shit that, yeah, it, don't, it, don't, it don't it don't it don't it don't it don't even matter, my nigga, cause they gonna continue. They gonna continue to create shit to to create dope fiends. Because you know, it's it's good to have those type of people in society for the ones who control shit, nigga. Cause as long as we could keep motherfuckers off balance, my nigga. Cause if if everybody in society on the bottom ever wake up, then we gonna look at the motherfuckers on the top like food. Like y'all bitch ass motherfuckers been doing this shit all the while. So they gonna keep racism going on. They gonna keep this ism going on. They gonna keep uh, alcoholism, dope. Oh, they gonna keep that shit, nigga. It's necessary. Man, I never thought, and I know, man, you see, I never thought what I would see. I knew niggas was motherfuckers running up in Beverly Hills, breaking down, hitting the jewelry store, snatching As all of them. As they should. Man, I'm not saying they wrong. I ain't seen that. What, what man, it just happened. The motherfuckers uh, just I, broke the. I, they I be just disconnected. Broke the man, broke the window, and when they was riding like and man. doing the pandemic shit. Oh, oh, I, yeah. I didn't. Even, I wasn't paying attention, my nigga. I be man, they doing it right now. They still. They just hit it. Yeah, they just hit one Five in Beverly Hills. That's how much they got away with the music. Man, they that got, man, they got one chain. That motherfucker was a half a ticket. Man, the store owner ain't on it. If you really, <laughs> if you really break it down, though, have you seen that documentary on diamonds? Yeah, it ain't worth shit. I ain't worth shit, my nigga. Them people done fooled the shit out of the whole man, world. It ain't worth they shit. They say they man. got vaults and vaults and vaults full of diamonds, but they didn't fool every bitch ass nigga into thinking this shit is so the valuable. Beers and shit. Yeah. Hey, we gotta go with these ones. Oh yeah, I need a diamond ring in order to marry me. Yeah, punk yeah. You see, yo, so you see yeah, the point where yeah. they say the nigga took it and he made it to where the diamond was the standard to marry Marriage. a bitch. Come that on. was crazy. Nigga, Come I was on. like, wow. And he told him that uh, if a nigga, what, 10 years of his salary or some shit? That, that it how, meant something? That's that, how you meant to your wife? I was like, wow. Look, this Think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's the same shit. Same shit. Same shit. Man, fuck Corona, fuck COVID, eat my dick, cake ass nigga. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want a motherfucker to come to Seattle. I ain't gonna lie. Every time I get on the plane, I wag because I, I have to. But if I ain't got to, man, fuck that, man. Man, I don't believe in that whole ass. Nigga, I haven't had corona one motherfucking time, bitch ass nigga. Man. I haven't been down and I felt like I was finna die. I ain't lost my smell, of, my sense of smell, my sense of taste. I ain't done nothing. Not, not to say that the next motherfucker have. Yeah. But I also know what a motherfucking all. Uh, 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 damn, what they call it? I, the the layman term for it is sugar pill, but the uh, the scientific term, when they give you something that that really don't work, what it's not. Oh, a, um, experiment. No, not experiment. It's a, I know I know what you're basically saying. Yeah. It's just, it's, just it, it, it's nothing. It's yeah. really nothing. But they make you. But think, they tell yeah, you that mentally, it, mentally, it's mentally, yeah, it's yeah. mentally. Oh fuck, man, on my a sugar shit. pill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Placebo. See, That's man. the word. Rob Fucking, Nova, yeah. man with the man with yeah, the, yeah, with the, the, man with the with touchdown. The yeah, the placebo. Promise, the placebo effect. They tell a mother, oh, nigga, you at a nigga. That's like, oh, who you calling done that joke? He was like, was that Cat William? That was Cat. He said, you be up at night in the commercials, make you think you, nigga, have you ever uh, experienced this? He said, well, nigga, yes, yes I, I have. have. <laughs> yeah. It be just common shit. Yeah, yeah. Just think, man, come on. Yeah, man. my nigga. I they working us. Yeah. Yeah, but all it all these people trying to find out is how easy it is to control. To, to fool you. Yeah, and to fool you. And oh, we got okay. We can put it on social media. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can just put it. Oh well, we can go get this star. Oh, yeah. they gonna do this for this store? Yeah. Man, fuck out of here, listen, man. Nobody listen, even think no more, listen, man. No, that fuck no, nigga. The uh, when you all you gotta do is go back to ancient Rome. When they say whenever 
the the masses and the people and the countrymen was starting to focus on like a problem within society. The king raised the taxes. Oh, fuck that shit. Oh, nigga, we ready. They in the streets. Oh, the king then raised the taxes. The king go and throw a big ass motherfucking event at the arena where a nigga get ate up by a lion. Everybody just calms down yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. That's why we were sitting here. Wow. Ten years ago, we don't give a fuck if Russia go to Ukraine and Ukraine go to Russia. Yeah. But now all of a sudden, I mean, man. I don't give a fuck either. Everybody, but you, but you know, but you know what they do say, and this probably gonna be the most dangerous statement in the whole goddamn podcast, nigga. Out of, out of all the shit we said, but they say that the American government do the most dirt and do the most fuckery when it's football season, cause all of America is Watch paying attention football. to football, yeah. so they could get away with murder. Hell yeah! Come on. We that's, invaded so many motherfucking saying. countries, man. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? How yeah. do we, excuse me, hey, remember when your people tell you that shit? All a nigga trying to do is make it to Thursday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. night. We don't give a goddamn what's going on. Uh, Tuesday night come, oh, that shit happened? Thursday night, right back up on your ass, nigga. Man, on football, man. Come on, man. <laughs> football, man. Thursday night and Friday come, damn, that shit happened. Sunday, right back on your ass, nigga. Man, the motherfuckers. don't give a goddamn nigga NFL. And they say, hey, especially during football season, they said they was giving free pussy. Niggas would miss out just to <laughs> watch football. Nigga, what? Nigga be looking on his Instagram later that nigga, night. Or something. Say, my nigga, I ain't gonna even lie, nigga. And, and bitches is notorious. Bitches ain't shit, and the flies know it, nigga. I remember one time, nigga, my guy, nigga, hey, nigga, it's football Sunday. Fucking bitch gonna come stand in front of the TV in some boy shorts, bending no pussy, fat in the motherfucker. In my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna kill this bitch once the game over with. Real talk. <laughs> but bitch, get out the way, fucking bitch. Get out the way, fuck. I'd have been fucking and watching the game. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I, I, I had money on the line. Hey, nigga. Niggas, we have a money on the line. Niggas ain't trying to I hear ain't that. Money on the line. Cause you get what? If I lose that money, bitch, it's your fault. Fuck <laughs> If I would have just been watching, you know, that's like a nigga gambling and a oh. nigga, a nigga say something, and you chuck a seven. Bitch, that nigga, you fuck my money. <laughs> hey, I promise, man. I just was at a casino throwing some dice, man. I tell females all the time, please don't stand by me. Don't. I'm shoot. Man, bitch, come stand by me and get man. I'll be damn near ready to squab hey, over every, that shit, everything, man. Everything is everything else fault when a nigga crap out oh, on the Oh, I promise you. <laughs> nigga, what it was just meant for you to throw that seven hoe uh, ass nigga. Hey, bitch, bitch, hey, hey. You mean it's my fault? Yeah, it's yeah, your fault. Yeah. Bitch, cause you came up, bitch, I was on. Yeah, like a motherfucker, nigga. I, I remember one time, nigga, we shoot dice, nigga. I had a big pot, nigga. My whole ass phone rung it with my baby mama. As soon as I grabbed the phone and looked at it, I crapped out, nigga. I answered the phone, fuck it, bitch. You she like, that, bitch, you made me crap out. She like, nigga, I'm not even at the dice, guy. <laughs> bitch, you, you fuck my when I, Oh, you called when I was rolling the dice, fucking bitch. I just crapped out. <laughs> Anything, man, me, anything man. is everything <laughs> fault, nigga. Look, look. <laughs> you thought I was lying, man. huh? I, I told the you. The truth, truth. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga silky. I they got, they just need another flavor. Uh, man, I have said, that man. That raspberry. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't what it is. No. That's, why, uh, that's why Purple took off in, in the city like it did. It, it, it wasn't that it was anymore because when drank, Excuse me. When Drank made his resurgence in, in Houston yeah. in the 90s when niggas like our age start fucking with it. We used to smoke it. And on the black and mild. Yeah, yeah. We used to do it. I just put it in the blunts. We used to smoke it. We used to, I we used to, we used to rub it on, on the cigars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but see, when I was growing up, because I, I just... Shout out to my nigga Coop and Mo, man. I don't mean to steal no shit. Nah, man. man, what, yeah, man yeah, come yeah. on, bro. My nigga man, Coop and Mo in Atlanta, man. I just done their podcast, Sprint of Life. They shit jumping, nigga. I just done a mean motherfucker on they shit. Oh, my God, I and, see and, you, man. Go check that out, man. Mean motherfucker on here, man. He, yeah, man, real niggas, because they made niggas. Uh, real, huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, and I just told a story of, of 
when my tea lady slapped the shit out of me because they said syrup and I ask, and I say, damn, we having pancakes. My tea lady slapped the shit out of me. Stay out of grown folks' business, bitch ass. <laughs> 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 they said syrup and I say, damn, we having pancakes. <laughs> I, I, nigga, I was number what? Nine, nine, ten years old. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, you know. No, really but, uh, yeah. But uh, back in the day, I remember when that purple shit first hit in the city. Mm. My mom and them talked bad about that shit. What? Is- <laughs> what? Damn. Man, my mom and them talked bad about it. And they talked even worse about it when they found out niggas was pouring it in soda water. Because they took it straight to the head out the bottle. They was, they was sipping uh, red and orange and clear. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when that purple shit hit. Man, my tea lady them stopped drinking because that's all you can find. They stopped drinking. They were like, man, we ain't drinking that whole ass shit. <laughs> but niggas in the streets my age was like, nigga, if it ain't purple, we ain't fucking with it. And that's some real shit, nigga. But nah, them niggas will drink some piss or uh, some goat piss, nigga, because what they took that whole ass purple away. <laughs> that <motherfucker. laughs> them the, the green one. Man, ain't nobody drink drinking anything. that shit. Man, yeah. Ain't nobody drinking no man, green. Man, them niggas would drink anything if it ain't nothing out there on the streets, nigga. Because once yeah. them niggas go to itching and go to painting, them niggas would drink anything. Hell with his hell. But it, it, yeah, but Mama. it was so it was it was plentiful. But now the game fucked up. Them niggas, hey, man, man, they I, cut that shit off, man. Yeah, them niggas drinking all types of shit now. Because see, my tea lady, them, they drunk red, they drunk orange, and they drunk. I'm telling you what I seen with my own yeah, eyes. Yeah, they yeah, drunk, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I, man, I know, there. man. I know. When you... purple hit, my nigga, I sat there and watched my tea lady, them talk so bad. They talk bad about that whole ass. When seen in in the, in the nineties, my my foes, man, you know what I mean. They move they move from Texas and they came to motherfucking L A. Yeah. So they brought they brought uh two things with them. I always know three things with them. I'm gonna keep it straight a hundred. The purple, because that's what they came in leaning and shit. Yeah, that's how yeah, I said we yeah, end up smoking. Yeah. Master P. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, it's me. You need to come get on this motherfucking podcast, cake ass nigga. And uh, man, I know, man, I'm gonna be slapped, man. My niggas, man, Bun B and PMC, yeah. and they bought them. They, they, they brought them on the tape. Yeah, trill. So yeah. they was the first ones. They had, you know, we were sitting back there, and you know, man, they was up out of Cooper Greenville, man, Greenville and Cooper. I'd be in Cooper. I used to be my. They ain't bring a screw, a screw tape. Man, that's what I was just about to. That was the first time. I'm How y'all listen it. to that shit, man? Man, that shit hard. Man, I swear that shit I be making me sleepy. Man. Nah, man. you know, you know. That shit hard, everything bro. Is, everything is culture, my nigga, because the first time I ever heard a screw tape, man, rest in peace to my best friend, man, Spark Plug, we were sitting in front of motherfucking TSU, my nigga. Was it Willa or the street over from Willa, right where the stow at? Not the street over from Greystone. Everybody, I think it's Willa. But, uh, nigga, we said we had just bust a right going back up towards Scott Street. Mm-hmm. And he put that shit in. And I say, man, something wrong with your motherfucking. <laughs> 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 she was like, nah, nigga. That's, that's ah! the tape. That's how it sound. And, nigga, when I heard. Eight ball MJG pimp, cause we high. And when he put it in, cause the music we was jamming was regular paced. And then when he put it in, it dropped. Yeah. But then by the time we rolled and I heard eight ball and MJG pimp, I got it, my nigga. Like, that shit hard. I'm yeah. I'ma keep it, man. The first nah, screw time. was screw Let me was, hear a, this screw shit, was man. a genius. I heard I heard man. Screw was a genius. But but it's it's culture, my nigga. It's like it's like me telling you about L.A. gang banging. Right. Now, you know what it is? I'm about to, I'm going to be real with you. What what made it click for me was um, DJ Ron C. And instead of, you know, instead of hearing Houston music screwed, yeah. he screwed 40. He screwed yeah. Messy Moore. Yeah. He screwed the shit we listen to. We listen, and when you hear it, especially 40, Fody will fuck your yeah, head off. Yeah, cause you need to, you need to, you need Foley to slow Fody down. You gotta slow him you, down. Oh, Fody was to fuck me. Hey, now tell me this, man. Oh, what the mama. fuck is them motherfucking poking out ass? Wide? Oh man, Vols, man, them swings, man, 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 the elbows. Man, they put them niggas on mother. <laughs> and how y'all park them motherfuckers? Say, man. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Gooch, cause I told Gooch. Them elbows, <laughs> man. I told Gooch, my dream 
is to cause I eighty four, man. Nah, yeah, because I I I said I would never have a pal, but when I said that it was a, at a time in the city where niggas was killing niggas, over. they was like dating. Real talk to L.A. Like, this is our datings, nigga. Like, you was riding on these bitches in the 90s. Nigga, you was either crazy, a gangster, or you had a whole bunch of niggas riding behind you. They put them motherfuckers on brand new Bro, listen, shit. Listen, yeah, but, 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 but now, Texas Wine Wheel, when Texas Wine Wheel went to remaking them and made the Super Poke, because then we call them Super Poke, because originally, they didn't oh, they got that Man, point. them motherfuckers is out 80, there. Now, 84s came on Cadillacs in, in the year 1984. The, you, the very first time that you could see them, I ain't gonna say mainstream, because Too Short was still a little bit underground, was on the Born the Mac album yeah. cover. He had them on now. But 84s came on Cadillac yeah, in 1984. Oh, they had 83s, came out in 83, and 84 came out in 84. Hey, you don't remember? I, this when I when I picked it. You don't remember? I'm about to fuck your head up. Off of Imperial and motherfucking, um, oh, I can't, Central. Remember that yeah, nigga that used to sell the The tire yeah. shop? Yeah. Remember they used to have all the motherfucking 84s and the rolls and everything? Think on my mama, man. I went through there and bought all the motherfuckers and took them to Houston and sold them. Nigga, yeah. Mamas, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers in L.A. Yeah. wasn't fucking nah, with them. We fucking wasn't fucking with them. Nigga, right. the Houston, them was top dollars. But then I'm going to tell, 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 tell you the cheat code. Huh. Niggas from our city was going to Dallas because uh. Dallas wasn't fucking with them back in the day. You could go to Dallas and get them for two. Man, Dallas was... was Thought they was L.A. niggas. They wore curls, finger waves, and they rolled Dayton's. Okay, and, okay. And, and when I was at Prairie View, because I, I was, I, I just look like this cake ad nigga, but I'm really <laughs> that nigga. Very educated, yeah, man. Highly, Very educated. nigga. I went to college well, on an academic scholarship, bitch ass nigga. Well, I had took. every, every, when I say every, every motherfucking Ivy League college in America after me. Harvard, Rice, Stanford, Yale, all of them sent letters to my house. Hmm. But I went to Prairie View because I was a, a militant ad nigga. I was a, yeah, I'm mean, a HBCU guy. Yeah, 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 I'm militant in a bit. <laughs> and to this day, I regret that because I years later, I seen an interview with, was it Dr. Cornell? It was somebody, but they was like, I went to this college because I say I could get what the white man has to offer and bring it back to my people. But anyway, but I'm at Prairie View, nigga, and at Prairie View, I don't know if it's still true today, but Dallas and Houston was a big thing. Prairie View is 40 miles, out, 35 miles outside of Houston, but a lot of Dallas motherfuckers go there. And, you know, nigga, Boy, we got into a big motherfucking fight with them niggas because one time them niggas say, nigga, we use them motherfuckers as flower pots in Dallas. Oh, nigga, the whole campus went up, nigga. Everybody was scrubbing. <laughs> nigga, yeah. nigga say we use them as flower pots, nigga. <laughs> Years later, I was like, boy, that was a hard motherfucker, nigga. But at the time, nigga, I was in my feelings behind that whole ass shit, nigga. That nigga say, nigga, we use them whole ass rims as flower pots in Dallas. Oh, man, them niggas got into it over some rims. The nigga don't own a percentage of them squabbling like a motherfucker. Hey, hey, that's fucking well, funny you know, when you yeah. It's a culture. Yeah. It's the, the, culture. Culture. Yeah, the, the culture, the culture. Dallas, it's a Dallas Houston culture yeah, and yeah, shit, it's, man. It's, who it's, faster? It's who, who the better pimps? Who the yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But we used to tell them, nigga, nigga, y'all think y'all L.A. bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because them niggas, yeah, them real niggas was on that L.A. LA shit. shit for real. Because them niggas bang. We talked about it earlier. Them yeah, 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 real yeah, 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 yeah. Real was talk. On some L.A. shit. But yeah, nigga, the whole campus was on nigga. It was. And I got some partners from Dallas that I love, nigga. And them niggas, they was the only nigga, the Dewberries, uh, uh, Chris and Eugene Dewberry, man. Shout out to them niggas, man. Them niggas, some stiff niggas. Uh, Clizide and Six Four, like a motherfucker, man. If y'all hear this, them niggas gonna be like, nigga, that nigga smack, nigga. I told y'all we went to school together, bitch. That was my talk, niggas, my nigga. Talk. Yeah, them was my nigga. And, but them niggas stayed stiff down. Them niggas let, cause uh, the Dewberry brother was a made nigga in Dallas, and they, they let all them Dallas niggas know, huh. nigga, we fuck with y'all, but if y'all fuck with him, 
All bets off, it's nigga. It's all done. Yeah, all bets off. Hey, nigga. I ain't gonna even lie though, man. That's fucking funny, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, 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 nah. At the time, it wasn't funny, but later on, I was like, that, that was a whole ass shit. Hey, man, shit, <laughs> but man. But nah, but the, but, the, but the swingers, and, and shout out to Texas Wine Wheel, they start remaking them because back in the day, nigga, you just, you had to be a bad nigga to ride them motherfuckers. What, what about Omar uh, Rims and Tires out there? Who is that? It's a rim shop out there in Texas. Oh, he popping right now. Yeah, with yeah, the forties yeah, and everything, yeah, with the roots. Everything. Well, man. Well, but Texas, but I, I, I said Texas wine wheel because they the nah, ones they who, big, they big out there. Nah, I know, but they the ones who start remaking making them. them. Yeah, I and see. And then not only did they start remaking them, they the ones who started making putting the big ass elbows yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen all kind of car, man. Well, look, man. We gon' man, we gonna go ahead, man. We gonna rap, man. We kill these batteries, man. You know, man. Go ahead and uh, drop, man. Tell them where they can find you at. You know what I'm saying, Pete? Man, let them in. Let them uh, know. Pimpersilky.com, at Pimpersilky on Instagram and Twitter, and that's your bitch house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, you already know who it is, cake ass nigga. Uh, and if you don't funk it, bitch, hit me up on Instagram, Smackwater, period 790, underscore 790. I'm still trying to get my main page back, or uh, just regular 790. Uh, my motherfucking website smackwaterworld.com shout out to my motherfucking people over there at water tree south park herbaby.com that dick food cake dick and food. yeah that dick food and uh man make sure y'all go and fuck with my people man i fuck with uh, uh a black owned shoe and apparel company rock deep they at rock deep global on instagram the smackwater ones coming out this year and uh Man, just tap in with me and you'll see everything that I got going on. Man, man. Hey, first of all, I want to thank these brothers, man. I want to thank y'all for a man, good show, long show and shit. Then a motherfucker. We got to just chop it in this shit, two, man. Three. Look at me. Hey, man, it's good shit. Hey, man, let me go ahead. Let me shoot a love to, man. You know, Rob Nova, man, my engineer, man. You know, of course, man, Queen and with Kendra. Always taking care of us and everything, man. You feel me? Man, Mr. McGlover, man, you know, he get back home, man. You know what I'm saying, man? We get back to work, brother. Um, man, you know, the uncomfortable truth, man. My brother's over there in D.C., Doc TV, you know what I mean? Come pull up. Come get your Seattle native and everything, man, gear, man. You feel me? We got your So Way Out gear, man. So Way Out, my So Way Out, brother. Hey, man, tell them niggas, man, I better get a piece, nigga, man. All this promotion I'm doing for them. So Way Out. What's that? <laughs> hey, that nigga E. Hey, wait till we get in on this motherfucker. <laughs> we're gonna have to get man Pimp and Silky back on here. I was man, go follow us, go like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean, man. We're gonna have more content for you, man. You never know who we're gonna have popping up just to jump on a panel and just talk shit, swallow spit, and do what we do, man. You know what I mean? So hey, have a blessed one once again, man. And thank you for a great episode, man, to the panel. Hey, I'ma holla at y'all, man. Late. Hey man, I'm about to make them shoes go viral as fuck. You know the motherfucker that be like, walk with me. <laughs> I'm finna